doing? I don't know what I'm doing. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Up the rap raps. Kenneth. What's the crack, everybody? My name's Dylan Murphy, and you're watching A Pint with Faye O'Rourke on District Magazine. It's a show where we shoot the shit with our favorite people and quiz them over a creamy one. Faye's a choice nominated artist, she's been a member of two critically acclaimed bands, and she's here today to have a pint and chill. So this is Faye O'Rourke, AKA the only small talk I like, AKA <laughs> Suda Blonde. Are you Faye? I'm good. This trivia has the potential to destroy me <laughs> and my career, so let's start the quiz. What's your go-to drink? Oh God, uh, it would be Guinness, but recently I feel like I have a max like two pint thing and mm. then I must move on because it does bad things to my insides. Yeah, blood sugar so, levels are just like up that. to it with Guinness. Like. That, that's a kind of diplomatic mm. way of putting it. I'm a wine drinker, but sometimes that, that can also be I'm a wine crier. Mm. <laughs> so it's settled. <laughs> are you ready to have a pint? Yes, Guinness, <laughs> clearly. <laughs> Slauncha. Okay, slauncha. Let's do this. Cheers. Cheers. So, how many pints have you had today, Dill, doing this? <sighs> Too many. Too, Too many, many in an empty stomach. <laughs> Question number one, you ready? I'm ready. So it's multiple choice. Okay. Question number one. What is the county town of Donegal? A, Donegal town. B, Letterkenny. <laughs> C, Lifford. Or D, Killy Beggs. Dill, I'm gonna have to say Lifford. Oh, you're right, correct? Yes! 100% record. <laughs> yes, 100% record, and that's the end of the quiz. Yeah. Question number two. Now, this is a bit of a throwback. 1993. Don't know how much you remember about that, but 1993, <laughs> the Irish government unveiled a brand new 10 pound note. Who was on it? So, we've got four choices here A, Mary Robinson, B, James Joyce. C, St. Patrick, or D, Eamon de Valera? I I'm gonna say Mary Robinson. It's incorrect, it's what? James Joyce. No, that was my second choice, to be fair. Who, who, if, if you had to recreate a banknote right now, who would you put on, like an icon iconic Irish person, who do you think would get the people's vote to be on a banknote? Christy Dignam. Yeah. Question number three. In what year did divorce become legal in Ireland? A is 1967. No. B, 1977. No. C, 1987. It's 87. And D, 1997. It's 87. 87? No, correct. fucking 97! It's 97. Oh shit! Yeah, that's, that's oh, kind of... Oh lads, I was so confident. Kind of mad actually. No, it was the Johnnies that we had that were eight, the 80s. Would you roll it there please? <laughs> Second last question of this round. Question number four. What term was used by the Irish government to refer to the Second World War? So, A is the panic. B is the emergency, C is the accident, and D is the troubles. I'd say the emergency. You'd be correct. Yeah. Okay, so two out of one. four. Oh, what? That's no, another one, right? That's another two, one. Two right. out of four, that's good. That's okay. Okay, so this is this is a wild card. This is this is a weird one. Okay. So question number five. Right. Do you watch the Olympics much? Do you watch it when it's on TV? Yeah, in the no. sports? My cousin's marrying Kelly Harrington though. Oh. So there you go. There you go. So yes, I watched the boxing. Yeah. But that would be it. Well, this that might come in handy, we'll see. Question number five. In what discipline did Ireland secure its first ever Olympic gold medal? So I'll give you the four different disciplines. A is long distance running. B is boxing. C is painting. D is music. I am going to say painting. Jack B. Yates won an Olympic medal for painting. I don't know if it was the first Olympic medal, but I know that that's true. Nail on the head. Yes! Got it, 100%. Yeah, so. That's mad. 1924, yeah. he painted the Liffey Swim. There so in the short-lived painting category. So it stopped uh, in 1948, along with architecture, music, and sculpture. That's so interesting. Music was an Olympic game. Yeah, who would, you, who would you put in the Olympics from Ireland for music? Lima Moyni. Hmm? I'd stick in Lima Moyni. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's a shaman. My work here is <laughs> done. Cool, so we're on to round number two, which is a snack round. So, before we get into that, what's your snack of choice? I would say dry roasted peanuts, still. Cool. And I'll grab some too. I have to use two hands there, I'm a bit embarrassed. Question number one. <gasps> Which one of these was not mentioned in Tony Cantwell's seminal Punto skit? Clune. 
Do you want a soft drink, man, Plume? Because I'll get it for you, man. All oh, right. Okay. I think I. I think. Okay. 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 So here's the names. <laughs> A. We've got Marius. <laughs> right. I think Marius was. B. We've got Cormac. C. We've got Plune. Plune is definitely in there. And D. We've got Garoid. I. I think. What was the second? Cormac. So it's Marius, Cormac, Plune, and Garoid. Marius. Plune is definitely in there. I think Marius is in there. What was the, what was the other two again? Cormac and Garoid. Cormac. I'm gonna go for. Incorrect. What? It's uh, it's Garoid. Ah, oh, crumbs. You have Tony on the show, don't you? Snipping down the old punto, baby. So we get on to question number two. Okay. In which year? In what year? Sorry, did the Lewis launch? So A, we've got 2000. B, we've got 2002. C, 2004. And D, 2006. I was in first year in 2004. Do I remember the Lewis being a thing? Dundrum Shopping Centre opened when I was 14. Did was that in conjunction with the Lewis is my question. I know the Lewis brought me there. I'm gonna say 2004. You're correct. Yes! Yeah. Yes! I had to deduct a few things there, <laughs> but I think it worked. Hmm. Question number three. So, finish off this dead mouse tweet. Oh no, this is where I fall. What the fuck is blank? So A, we've got the Lewis. B, we've got up the Ra. C, we've got Gay Burn, and four or D, we've got Guinness. I think I, I think it's not Guinness. So it's the DJ with the big I nice know, hat, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I'm just thinking, would he say, what the fuck is Gay Burn? It's clearly a name, right? That's clearly a name. Up the Ra, perhaps. <laughs> I don't think that's the no, sentence you've probably I, ever said before in your up the, <laughs> in your life before. Up, up the, the Ra, ra perhaps. perhaps. <laughs> so polite. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Up the Ra. You're correct. Yes! I am fucking impressed right here. It's one of them tweets that just does the rounds every single year. How have I missed this? Okay, yeah. yeah. Iconic, uh, up there with the That's best iconic. of them. That is an iconic tweet, yeah. So question number four. After the announcement that five gigs in Croke Park wouldn't happen, fucking hell, Gareth Brooks compared the feeling to A, a dark day at the rodeo, B, <laughs> coming off a bucking bronco, C, a death in the family, D, sending your favorite stallion to the glue factory. My, my instinct is it's a dark day at the rodeo. I don't think he'd say the thing about the glue factor, the glue, the horse and the glue thing. I think that's a little bit insensitive. Uh, a family member dying, it's a little bit traumatic. Garth, I think. I'll say a dark day at the rodeo. It's incorrect, it's a death in the family. What? He's a dramatic guy. Hashtag happy, hashtag Garth. So we'll get on to question number five. Okay. Final one of the round. Okay. What song featured on the famous Guinness Ave with the horses on the waves? Do you remember this? Yeah, I remember the ad. Iconic, like, it's one of them ones my mum would be like, shh. Go to your room. Every time it came on, it's yeah. like, what is, what is, what's going on? Well, she's dead right. So question number five. The options are, A, Rez, Underworld, B, Fat Planet, Left Field, C, Belfast, Orbital, no, it's not. D, Block Rock and Beats by The Chemical Bros. I don't think it's Orbital, and I don't think it's The Chemical Brothers. What were the first two? Rez Underworld and then Fat Planet by Leftfield. You're trying to psychoanalyze me yeah, here. Like I can't I'm remember. telling you, there's very little going on behind these eyes. I like, remember the ad, but I don't remember the song. I'll go. I'm gonna go with B. Fat Planet, Leftfield. Yeah. You're correct. Yes. Sorry, I feel like you could you could kind of montage all my yeses and they'd be exactly the same. Yes. Got yes, it. Yes. Yes! Yes! If you had to soundtrack a commercial with Sudablon music, who, well, who would you want to work with? Oh, like, a com like an actual company? like Yeah, a company or like, yeah, an advert. John Lewis. So this final round, before we get on to the quick fire round, be beginner's round, basically how well do you know yourself? Okay. How, how well do you think you know yourself when it comes to this kind of stuff? Oh, there's two people inside me constantly, so and they're at war with each other a mm. lot, so I don't know. I could have, you could be quoting me on something I said as alternate behavior. Yeah. Oh, what a mess, and that sounds like a, Continue, <laughs> continue. continue. We'll get into it. So it's question number one. To the closest 50,000, how many streams does Terrible Hands have on Spotify? Terrible, 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 terrible 
So option A, 400,000. B, 450,000. C, 500,000. D, 550,000. Like, obviously I'm checking my Spotify constantly. Like, that's an <laughs> obvious thing, isn't it? Uh, D. It is C, 500,000. Oh, <laughs> I gave myself more streams. Okay, obviously I'm not. I think I'm fantas fantasizing about my streams. Okay, that's good. See, I told you I was most scared about this round. It's one of them ones like, it's probably not something that people are thinking about too much, all this kind of stuff either. It though. should have that many streams. Put on a playlist, Spotify. Question number two. Finish the lyrics to this song. Afraid of everybody's success, I confess. Do you have to give me my options? Just finish the lyrics to the song. There's not four options at this one. <laughs> this, these are my lyrics. <laughs> Afraid of everybody's success, I confess. Everyone's dangerous to my idea of myself. There we go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was actually kind of scary. I'm not gonna <laughs> <laughs> What song's that from then? It's from Love Me World. But I have been in situations where I've drawn complete blanks, mm. and that is awful. Like when you have that moment where your brain just goes, nee, nee, nee. <laughs> happened at the old Childline concert to me a couple of years ago. What, what happened? I forgot how to sing My Love Took Me Down to the River to Silence Me, which is a very well known little green car song and has many streams, and I've sang it probably over a million times. And uh, I just turned to Donna and I grabbed him, grabbed him, and I was like, What are the lyrics? And he was like, you know the lyrics. And I was like, I genuinely don't remember the first lyric. And it was a, it was a shit show. And I had a real cry in the bathroom after, because it was just, you know, it's like 10,000 people. <laughs> Granted, they probably didn't know who I was, but it was still, you know, a lot of people. And Saoirse Ronan was in the toilet and heard me sobbing. And was like, I just wanted to say you were so good. You were so good. You were great. And I didn't recognize her as Sergio oh Ronan. And I was like, thank you, but you're just, you're full of shit. <laughs> and then I realized I was walking away. I was like, that was Sergio Ronan. Thanks. So thank you. Like, I think boys need an equivalent to the girls' bathroom. Just that, like. You can come into the girls if you like. If I need to cry, like after forgetting some stuff. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're getting progressive here. I think just come, <laughs> come and join us. What do you reckon is the most chaotic moment you've ever had on stage? Jimmy Fallon was pretty scary. Yeah. That was a scary time. What's he like? He was like, a great band from England. <laughs> and afterwards, you know, when the credits are like, dee -dee -dee -dee, the credits are there, and he's kind of shaking people's hands. He came up to me and he was like, I'm so sorry, I said you're from England. And I was just like, look you. Jimmy Fallon, thumbs down. Uh, Saoirse Ronan, thumbs up though. That's basically, yeah. that's, the vibe. that's the vibe. Okay, cool, so question number three. What date was the first ever show a soda blonde on? So, June the 3rd. June the 8th, June the 10th, June the 12th. This is gonna have to be a fucking guess. I wouldn't, I don't even know my own birthday. Like, are you an organizer in the group? Like, are you someone that's like, okay, this date, this is happening, this date, this is happening? No, no, I'm not. I start off as that, and then as soon as somebody kind of remotely tries to help me or step in, I'm like, you do it. You do it then. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm a real kind of all or nothing. Um, but no, it's not me generally. I'm gonna say June 3rd. It's June 8th. Yeah, I mean, I'd like to say I could help with that one, but it's just... Come on! <laughs> Question number four. Forbidden Fruit was the first festival <laughs> you performed at as Soda Blonde, but what stage were you on? Okay, so I'm gonna give you four options. The Hot Press stage, the 2FM stage, the District stage, or the Imro stage? It was the District stage. Ding, 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 ding got ding, it. Ding. At least I got that right. I got my streams wrong, mm. but this is... That, that's a better one to get right. What, do you remember much about that? I remember being extremely nervous because it was in that transitional period between the two bands. So I was very much manufacturing kind of like a confidence at that point. Yeah. You know, so it was still really new territory and, you know, it was a good slot at a festival and, it, it, you know, it was, it was scary, like it was scary. Would you, would you ever have drinks or anything before you perform? <clears throat> Generally, no, but it's funny since after lockdown, I found myself really nervous for this yeah. string of tours, you know. Because um, what is the optimal level of pints? Because I feel like when you're having like a casual chit chat in the pub, like, mm. Once you're in the midst of that third pint, mm -hmm. that's like, it can never get any better. I don't know where I felt like I could get a little drink around here, do you, bud? And the next one is going to ruin you, basically. This is when you get into saying stuff I you're going to regret. Well, where does it sit for you before a show? Before a show, well, generally I would try not to do that because mm. it's a slippery slope, but like, if we're being honest here, <laughs> I've had half a Guinness after all. Um, I would say like two, maybe. 
like two beers would okay. be a good vibe. But just like to loosen then, it up a bit? Just loosey-goosey. Yeah. Yeah, get a little loose. Do you have any other pre-show rituals that you'd have? We all have, we have a big hug. Can I give you a hug? No, thanks. Question number five. This summer sees you support Sinead O'Connor in Ivy Gardens, but who wrote her hit single, Nothing Compares to You? So A. It's Prince. It's Prince. Nothing you got it? Yeah. You got it? Didn't even, didn't even need to read them all out. Yes. We, we can't leave these untouched either. Gotta finish these before. Slauncha. Cheers to you, to excellent questions. We finished the three rounds. We're on to the okay. final one, the lightning round. Are you ready? I'm ready for this. Cool. Let's do it. Cool, so we're on the lightning round, Faye. So the final round consists of you pouring three pints. Oh, tell. I'm gonna pepper you questions. For everyone you get right, you get one point. And then at the end, we'll rank your point pints. Once that final one's poured, topped off, we'll call it a day and we'll see what you've got. Okay, Does that sound good to you? This sounds good, Dale. I'm really scared. Three, two, one, go. Father, Father Ted aired for the first time in 1995. True or false? False. It's true. Fuck. Donald Grover's middle name is Seamus. False. Keanu Reeves worked in Dunkin' Donuts before his big break. Um, what did you say? False. Yeah. Yep. Michael Parr is a fictional superhero created by Guinness. True. It's yeah, it's true. Yeah, see, uh, I know these things. I know things. <laughs> I know things. J. Cole was a member of Odd Future. False. It's false. The present has two poodles. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, go on. No, that's false. He doesn't. He has. Body and soul thoughts. is based in Ballina. But uh, it, no, it's not. It's false. Chelsea won the Premier League last season. Who cares? Who cares, Dale? Who cares? <laughs> Donald's pieces started in New York. Um, false. It's Michigan. Yeah! The car from Back to the Future was manufactured in Belfast. <laughs> Say that again. Um, true. It is true. It's a DeLorean. Eminem has headlined slain. True. True. Enya owns a castle. True. It is true. Men in Black stars Will Smith and Kevin Costner. False. It's false. Sonia O'Sullivan has won a medal in a gold medal in the 2000 Olympics. True. It's false. Fuck. Will Smith has won an Oscar for Best Actor. False, I hope. It is false. Sorry, Will. John McNally is doing 50 nights in Baker Street this year. Nah, I I could say true at this stage. It's true. It's true. According to Guinness, the perfect pour takes 119.5 seconds. Well, these are definitely not the perfect points in that case. Uh, that's true. It's true. We'll call that time. Look at that. Look at that, lads. Look at that. It's, it's looking pretty good. Incredibly it's difficult. looking pretty good. Okay, pint man. How did they get on? And into the pintometer. And it's a class point. Now over to the scoreboard. Round one. Faye scored three points. Round two, she doubled down with another three points. Round three, it's triple trouble with another three points. And on the lightning round, it's 14 points. On the pintometer, Faye scored an outstanding 90 points. Making Faye our new leader with 113 points. Back to you in the studio, Dill. Okay. Thanks very much for coming. Slanja. Slanja. These aren't settled. Oh, screw it.